and in three, two, one, we're heading to Taipei. Virginia Woolf and poetry, no one seemed to notice me, being young is getting so old. Cheap beer and cigarettes, life was like a movie set, and I seemed to be given no role. But in times of trouble, I can turn to my mother and I know that she gon' understand. So this is the lobby of the Taiwan Grand Hotel. It literally feels like a Chinese palace. Look at this, everything is red. So many red uh, pillars. It actually looks, the outside looks like you're entering some kind of kingdom, some ancient kingdom. It looks insane. Oh my God, I literally love this hotel. It's been, actually it's my first day here, but it's really awesome. Here with Dan Dan. Hey, what's up? Dan is my Taiwanese guy, so he knows where to go, what to do. So we're gonna go to Zhou Fun. Uh, yeah, Zhou Fun. Yeah, right. Zhou Fun. It's like 2,000 Taiwanese dollar to get there, there and back from here. Yeah. It's like an hour car ride there. Yeah, right. And an hour back. 2,000 Taiwanese dollars, like 7,000, 6,000, 6, 7,000 yen. Yeah. It's like 60 or 70 dollars US, so we'll see you guys there. So right now we are in Jofun, we have landed. Beautiful view. It's kind of crazy. I think you don't really recognize, or uh, for me at least, I didn't think Taiwan was so green. But it's, there's so much nature everywhere. Um, that temple was like in the middle of the forest as you guys saw. Or temple? Shrine? Temple. Yeah, we think temple, but um, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was like sticking out of the forest. Look kind of crazy, but we're gonna head to another beautiful scene, so we'll see you guys there. I don't think you realize how much of a mountain Taiwan is. It's like one giant mountain. No wonder Daniel's so fit. Yeah, Dan Dan. Wow. Oh, but I love Taiwan Mountain. <laughs> you are sweating. <laughs> So this uphill is literally just stairs with restaurants and souvenir shops lining. So many people and it's so humid. I'm dripping sweat. But I'm not the only one, Dan's dripping sweat too. We are dripping sweat buddies. <laughs> this is so cool though. It just keeps going up. Oh my god. Alright, so now we're gonna try you win. Yu Yuan. Yu Yu it's basically like a, I guess like a ice, basically like a lot like of slushy looking ice with fruit, fruit slices. We got, uh, I think mochi, kind of like mochi balls. Uh, it's called taro ball, but I think it's, I haven't tried it yet, but I think it looks like a mochi ball kind of thing. Plus red bean paste or uncle. There's a lot of influence from Japanese culture here, so. Mm. Yeah, like mochi balls. Really good. And it's so good right now because it's so hot. This ice is really refreshing. Only 45 yen, uh, 45 Taiwan dollar for one. We're trying sweet seaweed. Whoa. Oh, I know what this is. My grandma used to make this. That's good. It's like jello. It's not jello. It's just like anin daf or anin anin dofu. Right, yeah. right. right. What you do is you boil that block and then you put ice in it and then you can drink it like that. That's good. walking in the alleyway. Taiwanese people are so nice. Yeah, I, I like told you. I like Taiwanese people. Oh, we have boba tea. Oh, milk tea. Oh, oh yeah, milk right. tea. Oh, okay, it's bigger than my hand. Whoa. 
Yo, so we just got a big, look how big this is, as big as my face, tapioca. Only 260 yen, about $2.60 for the country known for the best. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have made it to Schiffen. Old Street. Schiffen Old Street, and we're yeah. on another suspension bridge. And I really don't like suspension bridges. As you can see, it's shaking already. Well, my hair looks crazy. It's been like running on and off constantly here. And then this place is actually famous for like a kind of lantern yeah. thing. You like put a lantern, a fire under a, a small lantern. Mm. You let it go up in the sky and you can make a wish or something. You write yeah, you can something on it. Yeah, kind of cool. We're gonna try that. So this place has a bunch of cool shops and restaurants and cafes as well. Just like Zhou Fun. Everything is like so much eating here, I love it. Food here is great, so many choices. Except it rains like very, very often. All right, so we ran across, still in the same place, we ran across a fried ice cream place. I gotta get my ice cream, of course, right? Oh, that's so good. Imagine like tempura. Like an ice cream. Oh. Mm. The Shifun area was pretty awesome and a nice getaway from the busy Taipei city vibe. After we got dropped off from the taxi back towards our hotel, we took the subway to our next location, which was very convenient and easy to use. There were English translations for most of the prompts on the screen, making ticket purchases very efficient. You get a poker chip looking like coin that you'll tap on the ticket gate and later use for the exit gate as well. I was very eager to arrive at our next stop as it was supposed to be absolutely enormous. What up guys? So right now we are outside of Chiang Kai-shek National Memorial Hall, uh, which is, it covers around over 240,000 square meters. So it is absolutely huge. Uh, the main entrance is right here and it's designated to the former president of the Republic of China. Yeah. His name is Chiang Kai-shek, that's hence Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. And he was like a very prominent uh, military leader uh, in uh, Taiwan's history, or the Republic of China. And uh, he died at 1975, so it's actually kind of recent. But um, yeah, there's a lot of good history that you can see here. There's a lot of like soldiers walking around. There's actually like a big event right now with a bunch of soldier, soldier, like children. Students? Get in here, buddy. Get in here. They're high school students doing what? Um, Marching? Uh, performance stuff? Performance yeah. and doing stuff. And yeah, and then after this, we're gonna go to Xing Tian Gong, which is a temple for that, that's devoted to the god of business here in Taiwan. And that covers over 70,000 square meters, so these places are really, really, yeah. really big. Yeah. Yes! We have made it to Elephant Mountain. Changshan. It's called Elephant Mountain because uh, the mountain looks like an elephant head. Right? Is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. He's Taiwanese, man. I'm not even Taiwanese, and I know. I'm from Taipei. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Taipei someday. Someday over the rainbow. We'll see you guys up on the mountain. Oh, so, we've been climbing for three minutes. And Elephant Mountain, it's just a buttload of stairs. Huh. Look at that. This is a never ending Elephant Mountain. Actually, it just keeps getting steeper and steeper. Each step is getting longer and longer, making for a deeper squat. Taiwan Elephant Mountain, I'm trying to kill Taurus one step at a time. At the top of Elephant Mountain was an absolutely gorgeous view of the city, minus the weather. When people talk about how good Taiwanese food is, they are definitely not kidding around. The hike was a perfect way to burn all those calories we gained while here in Taiwan. We couldn't stop eating on this trip as every meal seemed to get better than the last. I don't think I've ever been on a trip that was centered around delicious food, but I'm glad I now have that experience. On our last day, 
we decided to take the train to the airport near Taipei Station, which has direct access to the airport terminal, making for a very easy return home. The process of purchasing the ticket is the same as buying a ticket on the normal train. The price was very cheap, and definitely something you should take advantage of if you make your way down here. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for kind of like an explore Taiwan video. We had a ton of fun. I absolutely love Taiwan. Um, I think it's just rightfully uh, correct to end it with some tapioca since uh, tapioca or uh, boba tea or I guess pearls, tapioca pearls or however you want to call them, originated from Taiwan. Um, we did so much from eating so much food to hiking to going to the countryside of Taiwan, not countryside but like kind of a um, outside of the main city uh, in Jofun in the first day. It was absolutely great. Uh, we also went on a hike to Elephant Mountain. We went shopping, we got a massage, we got everything. Taiwan was absolutely, I literally absolutely love it. I want to come back and check out the other cities, Taichung and uh, Tainan. Tainan's down south, Taichung is in the middle between Taipei and uh, Tainan. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not Japan related, but I hope you guys can support it and kind of enjoy the Taiwan vlogs because I would love to come back here, so yeah. Anyways, Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Alright, so we are trying pork blood cake. Yeah. You want to explain this? Can you tell me what this is? <laughs> you see how it's like, <laughs> oh my god! Is that liver? It's something in the body.